It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. So you ready to see what we're gonna do? I know you are. You wanna know how dumb I am, don't you? It's fine. It's normally Lester. This time though, it's me. It's 100% me. I hope that Lester comes home and has no aches or pains and didn't kill himself at the sanctuary today to help me put together all those shelves and move them over. I told you I was dumb. Either way, you're coming along and you're helping because we don't do things alone around here. We drag everyone into the shit show and make them experience it so they can learn a lesson. My lesson. Hey y'all. First of all, let me just say, I am dumb. I, I am dumb. Okay. I have a lot going on this week. It's also a holiday week. Work is busy and it's, it's hot. So everything just seems to take longer and everybody needs to be watered down more than once and all the things going on. Well, my niece and her mom are coming to visit on Wednesday and I went ahead and said, you know what? I'm going to tackle a project. What is wrong with me? What in the ADHD is wrong with me? Oh yeah, let's do a big project when we have no time already, but because you want to move a stack of something out of the way, you're gonna just take on the full project. A project that would normally take two weeks, you're gonna squeeze into 36 hours. On top of everything else, I'm dumb. And now that I've committed to it, I can't undumb myself or uncommit. It's not that I've committed to anyone else. It's that I've committed to me. And I am literally melting right before your very eyes with just sweat propelling off of me just from standing right here. It's going to be great. It's going to be fine. So you ready to see what we're going to do? I know you are. You want to know how dumb I am, don't you? It's fine. It's normally Lester. This time though, it's me. It's 100% me. I've been telling you all for a solid 10 days that I'm going to put these shelves together, right? Well, in order to put the shelves together, I had to look for some more of the things that I ordered to be able to have that happen. That's all trash. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to pick this up because, you know, I'm going to clean all this too in the next 36 hours. Oh yeah. And my house and grocery shop and it just gets better. You're just going to love this. You're going to love my spirit and sense of freaking insanity is what's going to happen. So the greenhouse <laughs> needs those shelves to be put in it and in order to do that I have to get the floor prepared and in order to get the floor prepared painted which I went and bought last night Sunday evening I have to pressure wash you want to know why I have to do all that on my brand new concrete <sighs> who could have known who could have ever known well do you see these little spots that look like golden delicious honey oh yeah and my my globe broke in the storm, the windstorm last night. That's super awesome too. I have a board that's leaking its tail off. I think it might have slowed down, or at least I thought it did, but you know, it's about 100 and 140 degrees here in the uh, greenhouse. And the whole 16 foot of that board is sap from it all across the floor. I cannot paint my floor to cover up all of these stains and to seal the concrete until I pressure wash that off. And I couldn't pressure wash or start any of that project until I moved my mini truck, which I let sit long enough in here to die because, because I've been busy. So now, super amazing, you ready for this? We're gonna pressure wash this bad boy after I moved the mini truck because I charged it finally because we got electric ran out here. I'm telling you, like everything had to happen in sync and then it all came together like last night. So today's the day. Yay. I got to move all this stuff off the porch. Get that out of here. Get the rest of the materials out of here. Get the pressure washer going. Bring a fan out to dry it out. And then if, if the stars align, I think I might be able to paint it tonight. And then while it's drying and my body is recovering, I hope that Lester comes home and has no aches or pains and didn't kill himself at the sanctuary today to help me put together all those shelves and move them over. 
told you I was dumb. Either way, you're coming along and you're helping. Because we don't do things alone around here. We drag everyone into the shit show and make them experience it so they can learn a lesson. My lesson of don't overcommit. It's okay to have things not all the way done. It's okay. I tell myself that now, but now I've committed it. I'm getting this sucker done. So step one, clean up that glass, get all that stuff moved out, and hope that the mini truck is charged enough. Here we go. Here we go. It's connected here. Uh, it's only been a couple hours, but let me show you what I got so far. All right, so I have pressure washed the entire thing. This, okay, this is stain dripping, but the stickiness, all these little white spots here with yellow in it are sap. I got most of it out right here. You still see some, all those white spots. Yeah, awful. But hold on, I'm gonna turn this off. I have to show you something. This is the first probably greenhouse lesson. I've had the mini truck parked in here uh, simply because one day it was hailing. You know, it's been a while. And I haven't used it for anything because I've just been using my legs and trying Christmas. I've been trying, but I wanna show you something. I did not make skid marks with the mini truck. I think that the greenhouse melted the tires a little bit. At least the color or the oil from it, I don't know. But I certainly didn't go screeching the tires Christmas. That's crazy talk. Happy to see it's drying up pretty nicely so I will be able to paint it tonight. I just have more pressure washing to do. So I've done this three times. And now I'm focusing on like the remnants, but you can see it's like goo. I don't know how to get this off other than water because it's just like road tar. I, I'm i gonna keep trying, keep doing it. And then while everything dries, I will start to trim out the edges. Oh, I'm so excited to have this. I'm so blessed and so, so, so excited. Y'all look at the little parts up there. Those look pretty good, all things considered. I got lemon trees that I put on the porch a little while ago and then just a few little planter things. The rocking chairs from I'm a Survivor will go on the porch. And then, oh, I can't wait to show y'all. So we have wiring for the lights. I can't wait, I cannot wait to show y'all the light fixture. I, I have like, done a lot out here that I just haven't talked about. I've kind of just been keeping it to myself, but now as I get closer, I I feel like the floor advice is much needed, but also that, I don't know, hard work and the things I'm going through and the time it's taking and then save up for this or save up for that. Um, I don't know, I'm just kind of proud and I wanted to show you. So more to come. Just needed a little break and thought I'd show you. I really am working over Alrighty, here. Alrighty, we're almost dry. We got the last spot that I was working on drying up, but I'm about ready to start on the edges and just doing the trim work. I think that I got most of this stuff up. What's left right now with the dark spots, that is stain from staining this wood. So it's not gonna come up. We're gonna paint right over top of it and uh, I can't believe that I'm saying this. There's a cool breeze coming through here, which is a huge, huge blessing. So I'm gonna get this party started. Uh, the paint that I bought is meant for porches, uh, concrete floor and patio and is a water base. It's just gray, so it'll look very similar to the concrete and it will clean up well, which is exactly what we need. Lester says I did not buy enough. We're gonna find out. All right, looks oddly similar to the concrete, but it won't have all those stained splotches and it will be sealed. Let's get this stirred up and poured and I really, really wanna get this done tonight so badly. So some of the most stained parts are around the post on the porch. So I thought that I would try here to show you what the color looks like. And in this moment is when I realize how thick this is and how there's no way that two gallons is enough. So we're gonna add a low strip to our short time frame. It just got dumber, but I will tell you this. 
I think it looks pretty. And the fact that it's gonna seal it and make it waterproof and preserve the floor even longer makes it worth it. Okay, let's get going. Baby, Mom is trying to paint right there. I have to trim out. She just came and laid down and look. That's a Christmas brush mark right there. Sweetie, that's concrete paint. I don't think it's gonna sit well on your sweet little tail. You're gonna make me move to a new spot. Um, okay, so for the record, I'm not sure about this color. However, it's a pre-mixed, it's gray. I'm going to go with it. It almost looks blue. So I'm going to do it, see how it goes. It's going to serve a purpose. It's going to be covered with a lot of plants and things as well. So I can't freak out too much. I just don't, it looks bluish to me and I wasn't anticipating blue. It's all right though. We're going to keep going. Hey y'all. Day two, we're down to about mm, 18 hours left. I wanted to show you where we stand though. Come well, on. Well, two gallons did not cut it. Uh, I am headed back to Lowe's this morning because by the time I got done last night, Lowe's was closed. But I like the color a lot better today. It's actually looking beautiful. Lester thinks that I should maybe do one more coat, but I think it looks really good. It's meant to only do one coat, and I laid that stuff on dang thick. So I have the porch to go, and then the sides of the concrete and whatnot will have to be done as well. But overall, she's coming along. So now, if I can go to Lowe's and not buy anything unnecessary, that is today's challenge. It's close really really close I got steps and these outside walls to do and we're gonna be finished it looks a little bluer than I anticipated but it said light gray I don't know I guess that's partially whatever it's sealed it's pretty it's clean it's gonna blow out nice and sweep out nice even though there is a leaf that has made its way in it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally fine. A Little bit more to go. Today's the day. Are y'all ready to see this? I can't wait to show you. Look, it's coming along. I'm so excited. We decided to park the mini truck on the outside this time. We don't want it to, we don't want it to get as hot as she was before, but I replanted my zinnias that had a little, a little fried out moment. And the paint job is done. Really excited about this. I got my gazing ball, which happens to look like a pearl, if that's a hint of anything to come. And a few little things are set out and ready. I know that it's minor, but the floor is done and ready now for us to go on to the next step. And I want to show you this really cool birdhouse. It's kind of made from refurbished materials. And it's very Texas-y. I like that too. But next steps are putting the shade cloth over top of this because uh, it's, it's too hot. The light that I ordered needs to go in. And of course, Lester brought the shelves out here for me to be able to put together because they turn out to be really quite heavy and the tractor had to move them. But it's coming along y'all and I'm so excited. Uh, Jessica and Jalen have offered to help with the next steps of the project. So I'm gonna make that its whole own video, but I'm really pleased with how this turned out. The floor color looks Perfect. I really thought it was too blue at some point in time, but after it's dried, it looks really pretty. And it's nice and clean and sealed. And this is going to protect the concrete for years to come. Now, next steps is get all this other stuff in here and start planting this week too, which makes me the very most excited of all. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. I know y'all worked hard watching me, watching me work. But I am getting really excited about my own little piece of uh, heaven right here. And can't wait to put some of the really special touches of, of even Dixie inside here. So, 
one last glance. I know I'm a weirdo and I'm obsessing, but it's just a really proud moment. Thanks y'all.